Hello and welcome to SWAC Academy. In this video, I will explain to you how to calculate the intrinsic value of a stock. I will begin by explaining the concept of intrinsic value and discounted cash flow. Afterward, I will apply an example for the Apple company and I will show you where you can get the data to apply the formulas. So make sure to watch to the end of the video. Let's begin with what Warren Buffett says about intrinsic value. Hello, Mr. Buffett. I got two short questions. One is how do you find intrinsic value in a company? Well, intrinsic value is what is the number that if you were all knowing about the future and could predict all the cash that a, a business would give you between now and Judgment Day, discounted at the proper discount rate, that number is what the intrinsic value of a business is. And Based on Warren's answer, the intrinsic value is the sum of cash the company will generate in the future discounted to the present value. It is logical to understand that the value of an asset is the sum of cash it generates in the future. But why discounted to the present value? Well, $1,000 today is worth much more than $1,000 in 5 years. This is because of two reasons. One, due to inflation, the sum will lose a part of its value each year. Two, if you have $1,000 today, you can invest it in a bond or an ETF and gain easily 7-8% to every year. So let's apply an example for you to understand the concept. Imagine you have a cow. You milk the cow and sell the milk for $2,000 every year. To feed the cow, you pay $1,000 every year for its food. Thus, this will leave you with $1,000 of free cash flow every year. So I will enter in my calculation model the $1,000 cash generated each year for 10 years. After 10 years, you will sell the cow to the butcher for $3,000. This will be the terminal selling value of the cow. Now, if we sum the cash generated by the cow, it will be $13,000 in 10 years. Now, let's calculate the present value of the cash flow. This is how the formula works. Present value equal future value divided by 1 plus discount rate to the power of years. The discount is a percentage of money you will lose or gain in a year. For this example, I will calculate a 10% discount. Now let's apply the present value to the future cash flow generated. As you can see, after 10 years, $1,000 today is worth $386. Now let's sum the present value calculated. This is the intrinsic value of the cow. In other words, this is the fair price to buy or sell the cow today. As investors, we always apply a margin of safety to the intrinsic value. To stay with our example, the cow might get sick or die or produce less milk at the, as it gets older. In other words, we make assumptions about the future which is uncertain. This is why I recommend applying a margin of safety of 30 to 50 percent. So if an investor will buy the cow and make money on it, he will pay half the price of the intrinsic value calculated. For companies, the concept gets a little bit more complicated since the future cash flow generated is unpredictable. It is increasing or decreasing every year. So I will add an additional column, which is the growth of free cash flow every year. Again, the sum of present value of future cash flows is the intrinsic value. Now let's apply an example and calculate the intrinsic value of the company Apple. I will show you in this example where to get the free cash flow, growth, and the terminal value. For the free cash flows, go to yahoo.com, search the company Apple. Go to financials, cash flow, scroll down and there you have it. You will see the free cash flow value. Otherwise, you can calculate it. It is the value of operating cash flows minus capex. In other words, it is the sum of cash the company generated over its financial year minus the money the company pays to reinvest in the business. It is the sum of cash that is left to investors after the company paid all its expenses. For the growth, go again to yahoo.com, click on analysis, you will see the past and future growth estimates of analysts. Analysts expect the company to grow with 10.32% every year for the next 5 years. Of course, you can be conservative and apply less growth. So I will enter 10% growth for the first 5 years and 5% for the 5 years afterwards. As company matures, they tend to grow less and less every year.
For the terminal value, you can apply the following formula to find the terminal multiple of the price at which the company will be sold in 10 years. Terminal value equal terminal multiple multiplied by free cash flow. For the terminal multiple, and from my experience, you can use the following formula. 8 plus growth rate for the last year. In this example, we calculated 5% growth rate after 10 years. So the terminal multiple is 8 plus 5, which is equal 13. For the discount rate, you can consider 10% or if you want to be even more conservative, 15%. 15% is the value that Warren Buffett uses in his calculations. Now we can calculate the intrinsic value of the business. To calculate the intrinsic value of the stock, go to Yahoo again. Financial, under the income statement, copy the number of diluted shares. Now divide the intrinsic value of a company by the number of shares and you will receive the intrinsic value of a stock. Apply a margin of safety and you will have your results. I hope you found value in this video. If yes, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.